If you've ever dreamed of achieving lasting wealth through smart investment choices, then stay tuned because this ETF we are going to go over today could be one of the greatest of all time. We're all aware that investing into the stock market can be thrilling yet very daunting. And the experience can be filled with countless opportunities, but also risks. But what if I told you there's a way to navigate the landscape with a reliable and proven strategy that could yield remarkable returns? Now, the VIG ETF, or short for the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, offers precisely that and much more. In this video, we will dig deep into the key reasons why the VIG ETF stands out as an exceptional investment vehicle for those seeking long-term wealth creation. Now we're going to go over all that and more right after you please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more content like this. Now a lot of newer investors have the same question. What makes an exchange traded fund a good exchange traded fund? Now typically it takes several key characteristics to make an ETF attractive to investors. And here are just a few of the factors to consider when evaluating the quality of an ETF. You're going to want to look into and understand the objective and the strategy of the ETF. The ETF should have a clear investment objective and a well-defined strategy. And if this strategy or objective doesn't seem really on par with what you're looking for, that should give you as an investor an obvious reason to not want to buy into it. A good ETF should also have a long-term track record. Assess the ETF's historical performance over multiple market cycles. And although past performance does not guarantee future results, an ETF that shows a strong historical performance will likely, in most cases, continue to do so. On top of that, when choosing a good quote-unquote ETF, you should definitely look into things like the expense ratio, how much the ETF costs, the ETF's diversification, or sometimes lack thereof, and this might be a little bit further down the list, but still important, things like the provider of the ETF, and of course, depending on your situation, the tax efficiency. Now, VIG is designed to provide investors with exposure to a carefully curated collection of dividend-paying companies. And these different companies are picked for their ability to consistently increase the dividend payments over time. But let's go through a little bit more and see what VIG has to offer. So first of all, it's obvious that VIG offers some massive capital appreciation. Since the fund's inception just before 2007, the fund is up as far as ETF price, 216 plus percent. Now, unfortunately, VIG is on the higher end of the 52-week range at 157.56, the 52-week low being 132.64. So there was some good buying opportunities throughout the last year and the high being $160.99. VIG offers a very cheap expense ratio, 0.06, which is pretty much the same as all other high-quality ETFs like this out there. Now, VIG does offer a quarterly paid dividend with a trailing 12-month dividend payout of $3.03 per share. But we're going to talk a little bit more about the dividend in a second here. Taking a look at VIG's holdings, the breakdown is super, super impressive. Taking a quick look at VIG's holdings, the fund is very diversified with technology being 20% of the fund, financials being just over 17%, healthcare 16%, industrials 12%, Consumer Defensive 12%, Consumer Cyclical 7%, Basic Material 4%, Energy 3, Utilities 3, and Communication just over 1. VIG's top 10 holdings are also extremely high quality, with Microsoft being number 1, Apple number 2, Exxon, United Health, Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan, Procter Gamble, Visa, MasterCard, and of course the Home Depot. The VIG ETF does have over 300 holdings in the fund, which for the investors like myself that love diversification, this fund would definitely match their strategy. Now talking a little bit more about VIG's dividend. The current trillion 12 month dividend yield is just 1.93%, which is a little bit on the lower end for a more income focused investor like myself. But remember the capital appreciation for this fund is very, very extraordinary. And to be honest, the current dividend yield is not all that bad, considering VIG raises their dividend, at least historically, has raised their dividend extremely, extremely fast. And what's even crazier is if we look at VIG on a longer time frame, the 10-year dividend growth rate is 9.61%, which is a very fast dividend growth rate. Simply put, it means that VIG is paying more and more per share to shareholders in the form of dividends year after year after year. But VIG's dividend growth rate on the 20-year time frame is 14.32%. VIG's dividend growth rate on the five-year, 9.4%. And VIG's dividend growth rate on the three-year time frame, 10.18%. 
Now, what's significant about this to me is that most of the time when you look at dividend growth rate on multiple different time frames, say it's three year, five year, 10 year, you're normally going to see that at some point, the dividend growth slowed down and at some point it sped up. But what's crazy is that with VIG, this dividend growth rate has been very, very consistent and all the different time frames offered are giving a massive dividend growth rate for investors that wanna hold on to a high quality ETF long-term. Now, if you were to assume that VIG has an annual dividend growth rate of 9.09%, which means the dividend doubles every eight years. And again, this is just going off of previous data. We don't know what VIG's future dividend is going to look like. But if we were to assume a 9.09% dividend growth rate, we could easily see a $3.54 dividend in 2024 a $3.86 dividend in 2025, and by 2030, we could see VIG at almost $6 in dividends per year. Now, when it comes to an ETF that has this fast of a dividend growth rate, you really have to take this piece of data seriously when trying to build out a long-term portfolio. Because what fast dividend growth means to me is that my money will be working harder for me in theory in the future. For every share of VIG that you buy today, that you get paid around $3 per share in dividends, let's just say. In theory, over time, the amount of dividends paid will be going up and up and up, at least again, historically speaking. Another reason I'm a huge fan of VIG is because of the historical total return the fund has offered. If you look at the year to date, VIG is up 4.31%, with ETF price and dividends included. S&P is crushing it, up 13.14%. And SCHD, for example, or for comparison, is down 3.89%. Over the last 365 days, VIG is up 4.19, S&P is up 6.15, and SCHD is down 4.02. Over the last three years, VIG, 35% up, S&P, 39, and SCHD, just over 40. And over the past five years, as far as total return goes, you can see that pretty much SCHD S&P 500 and VIG are all neck and neck. Now this is largely because they do all have somewhat of an overlap in holdings. And if you were to ask me which out of these three options would be the best ETF to invest into, I would say why not have a little bit of all of them. But I want to hear what you guys think down below when it comes to the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation Index. Is VIG something that you currently have in your portfolio? And also comment down below some more ETFs you want me to go over in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.